back to the garden. This is week eight and we're over at the squash bed with Courtney. Yeah, and we just found a little unwelcome visitor in our squash, a couple little squash bugs and they were attached. I think they were mating. So we're gonna be keeping a really close eye out for those little eggs on the back of the leaves. But come on back and we'll show you around and see what else is growing here. So this is our first squash harvest of the season. And this right here is the shriveled up squash blossom. So it's the tail now. Yep. And uh, that's kind of cool. And I love the size. These are really good. They taste really good this size. If you turn your back for a day or two and they just get huge. And then they're a little more mealy inside? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So we're here at our carrot bed and we really haven't talked about our carrots too much these past few weeks because they are so low maintenance. We simply scattered some seeds and a bunch of them took. They look amazing and there's so much magic going on beneath the soil. <laughs> so this vegetable is kind of carefree in a way once you get it started. It really is. These and the potatoes. So I noticed, Courtney, there's a lot of like little yellow blossoms on these plants right now, on the cucumber plants. Yeah, we're finally starting to see some action over here with the cucumbers. All these little flowers will turn into cucumbers, just like we saw with the squash. Uh huh. And as these vines are growing, they're going to start, hopefully, crawling up this trellis. You can see this vine starting to. Yeah. It's kind of a a little struggle they're trying to decide do they want to climb the trellis or follow that sun which is over here right now uh, but hopefully we'll encourage them as they go and those little cucumbers will fall right in between those holes yeah sounds like a perfect plan are you enjoying this video give us a thumbs up subscribe and you can also ding that notification button like us and share us so this plant, Courtney, I remember when we transplanted these, this was one that you grew from seed mm -hmm. in the winter, and we were wondering if it was going to make it. And look, it, it was looks so tiny and fragile when we planted it, but it does. It looks really well established now. Um, the beauty of having all these being established now is that we can come in and really take our time and nurture them and make sure they're in good health. And that's what we've been doing. With the tomato plants, I've been coming around and first pulling off any little yellow or brown leaves. Mm -hmm. um, those, the, those become like the weaker part of the plant and we don't want to attract any bugs or pests, so we just pull those off. And then again on the bottom here where we have these small little, um, little stems, these are not going to produce any fruit. If they, if they did, the fruit would be laying on the ground, yeah. so we don't want that. So, so just we'll take those let off the energy too. go into the right place. 